And with Helene's landfall not far away, there is not time to waste. Homeowners and businesses are boarding up right now. In Helene's path is the small town of Perry, Florida. And that is where we find first alert meteorologist Cutter Martin. Now, Cutter, you actually just got to Perry. So what have you seen so far around you? I would say quiet preparation, definitely, Perry. It's a small town, but with many folks, we're at the corner of green and orange. Wednesday afternoon, typically in Perry, we would see many people on the roadways. Not the case today. Everyone had headed out, mainly with boats. Again, securing their private property, whether it's a boat or a family business. Again, many are already boarded up, but we have some that are still in the process. And it's neighbor helping neighbor here, business owner or not. Folks are here boarding up and then eventually getting out, especially if they're in a surge zone. Now, reminder, Taylor County, where we are, mandatory evacuation for everybody. As far as storm surge in Perry, not looking like it's going to be a downtown issue, but it will be a close call. And we know that's only half the impact. Dangerous, destructive winds moving in, which is why people are boarding up, protecting not just their belongings, but their businesses and their livelihoods. So it's an active scene here, but also a quiet one. Not many sounds. You know, a hurricane's coming when everyone is headed northbound on the highway, Florida 145, away from the beaches, securing their boats and again, securing their property. But we're just getting here. We're going to continue to chat with folks, get a lay of the land and show you how unfortunately this progresses for the negative weather wise here over the next 24 to 36 hours. Reporting live in Perry, Florida, Cutter Barton, Atlanta News First. And Cutter here at home. This storm is closing down one of North.